Good Sunday morning, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We continue again to see the potential for some dry conditions in the Mid-South yet again, so no major problems being seen for outdoor activities, but very warm temperatures in the forecast, not down toward the lower right-hand corner of your screen, with low temperatures tonight back in the 60s and highs today back in the 80s. Southerly winds today, a little bit on the breezy side, plenty of sunshine, and that could increase wildfire danger across parts of the Mid-South. Stay tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on that. Rest of the forecast, again, not doing too bad, getting numbers into the upper 70s by the time we hit mid to late morning. Why is that significant? Because we could be seeing temperatures at this time of the year back in the lower 70s. That's our normal high temperatures, so we're going to be going way beyond that into the course of the rest of the morning into this afternoon. Numbers, again, going back way on up into well above the normal category, so looking at some very nice numbers out there for outdoor activities, but definitely warm and definitely want to cool yourself off if you're working or exercising out there. Cough temp decks, temperatures again better be cooled off for later on today, so iced coffee or that nice cold brew would probably be, be a very good idea for later on. Earthquakes in the Mid-South, nothing to speak of in the last 24 hours. A couple of earthquakes earlier yesterday afternoon, well back on over to around Chattanooga and into and around portions of Knoxville. A couple of area icons showing up there. Nothing huge and definitely nothing in the Mid-South area, and we're continuing to monitor that six point magnitude earthquake in Italy. Fortunately, so far, no casualties reported out of that. Tim B., the webcam in around the area of Mineral Wells, Tennessee, looking good so far this morning. The Ole Miss campus, plenty of sunshine showing up after the festivities of the game last night. Power Center Academy, some beautiful sunrise pictures out along Winchester Road and Olive Branch, Mississippi. Former mayor of Olive Branch, Sam Reichert's webcam showing again the view to the northwest and gorgeous conditions out there. The moon will be rising later on this morning. It already has risen at about 7.07, very close to the sun, so you can't see it too well. And it'll be setting about the same time as the sun tonight at 6.28. It is new, just turned new, a waxing crescent, just a fraction percentage of full so def definitely hardly able to see it and it'll be rising tomorrow morning 8 a.m. after sunrise and setting at 7.04 p.m. Sunrise today 7.20 tomorrow at 7.21 steadily losing daylight hours 10 hours 47 minutes of daylight today 10 hours 45 minutes into tomorrow. Burn bans remain in effect with an elevated threat for wildfire danger across the Mid-South into the next several days as the rainfall continues to elude us. Seven counties in Arkansas under burn bans, none of which are in the News Channel 3 viewing area. All the counties in Mississippi in the News Channel 3 viewing area are under burn bans. Tennessee does not issue burn bans unless on an absolutely needed basis. You do need a burn permit, so if you're planning that outdoor bonfire for Halloween, check with your local fire department and or your local forestry division to make certain you can can do that bonfire or barbecue or welding project or whatever else you got. We did manage to wind up with a bit of a wildfire at I-240 and 55 on Malfunction Junction South yesterday and that caused some backups probably because of a lit cigarette butt being tossed out the window. No rainfall to report. We're behind for the month by two and a half inches. We could use a lot more and we're just not going to be seeing it anytime soon. Temperature yesterday about 15 degrees above normal and we tied a record high. Record high for today, 87, set back in 1937, and 20 years beyond that, a record low of 28, set back in 1917. Rest of the day today, again, temperatures will be on the rise as we go through sunrise this morning through about the mid to upper 70s. Through about this afternoon, the computers are showing temperatures today in the upper 70s to lower 80s for highs. I'm saying they're going to be going much beyond that as we get into the rest of the day today, looking at temperatures in the high 80s for high temperatures, dropping back for later on this evening through News Channel 3 at 10, upper 60s to lower 70s, and by the time the kids hit the school bus stop in the morning, temperatures back in the high 50s to the lower 60s with a few clouds out there. Mid 80s today, again 80 Seven is the record. 86 is where we should kind of sort of be stopping for today, so expecting warm, but not quite as warm as the record. Very warm tomorrow. Could be pushing the record high temperature for Halloween, believe it or not. And for the trick-or-treaters, looking very nice out there tomorrow afternoon. Continued very warm for Tuesday. 
mostly sunny skies and very mild again for this time of the year. Now we start to take a bit of a downturn and we see the possibility of some showers and or thunderstorms coming our way by Thursday, but we're talking about a pitifully small chance of anything involved in the chances of any rainfall out there. So doubtful we're going to be seeing anything in the way of major amounts of rain. It would be nice. It just doesn't seem like it's going to be happening anytime soon. The rest of the week showing numbers back into around the lower 80s by Thursday, mid to upper 70s by Friday, Saturday, Sunday next week. And then by election day, get out and cast your ballot as a good citizen should. Mid to upper 60s for high temperatures and plenty of sunshine. So looking very good as we head into the end portion of next week and the end of the election campaign is in sight. Tonight's stargazing conditions not doing too bad out there. Should be seeing again good viewing conditions throughout the rest of the evening. No precipitation expected. We'd like to see more about that. Drop by our video weather blog. Our satellite flare last night did occur. It looked pretty nice. We'll see if there's one for later on. But so far not seeing anything in the way of a satellite flare for this morning. We'll bring you updates on that on our sky blog later on. Tune in to the latest weather information on the radio. East Arkansas Broadcast Network, Oldies 102.3 or Country 92.5. And don't forget to tune into my forecast on AM 730, Monday through Friday mornings with Bob and Josh on Memphis in the morning, followed by Talk Back Live, Sports Chat in the Mid-South, and send along any weather pictures you've got to Aonic underscore WREG3. Get the News Channel 3 weather app for whatever app system you've got. Search your store for WREG weather and download it today. Another check of your forecast into later on tonight on News Channel 3. Again, we'll have football coming up to this afternoon into this evening, so we probably are going to be running a little late. So definitely want to get the updates at WREG.com slash weather. Questions, concerns, ideas, suggestions, anything like that, austin.onic at WREG.com, and we'll be able to process that. Facebook Messenger sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't, so this would be your best bet to get in contact with me there. The dry weather continues across the Mid-South. We'll keep you updated on chances of rainfall over the next several days, how the pattern's shaking out, and when we'll be getting out of this warm spell. So stay tuned for more with News Channel 3. Live and direct from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend.